Hey everybody, welcome to my new computer. Uh, today I'm just going to be uploading a very short video tutorial on how to use Premiere Pro to make gunshots sound punchier. This is something I found out uh, this morning. It's a very simple trick, or as Dr. Strange would say, a very simple spell but quite unbreakable. So what we're going to do here is we're going to zoom in just to make that audio thing a little bit bigger. So for today's purposes, I'm going to be using the Halo 3 Magnum Stereo 1 sound file. Um, so it's like an actual sound file from Halo 3. We'll just play it really quick so everybody can hear it. So, there it is. Simple as that. It sounds alright on its own, you know. I mean, it was done by Martin O'Donnell. The guy's a genius. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into effects. And we're going to make this sound punchier for an interior setting. So what we want to do is we want to search for reverb. And for inside an interior, you would want to do studio reverb. And then you're going to go into this edit window. Now... The two important things here is room size and then dry and wet. So if we want a large warehouse, which for my purposes, like, you know, just a place that's large and echoey, but also interior, like I said, a warehouse, that's kind of significant to me. And you will see that later. Let me put this reverb effect on here. Now take a listen. <laughs> See? And then, you know, just for fun, I think we'll put just an, another Magnum sound here for comparison. So, this is Stereo 1, same sound file. Hold up. I don't know what is going on. Huh, that's weird. Eh. Well, um, okay, so that's working. I don't know what's up with that. But you can clear clearly, you hear, clearly hear, that does not have the same amount as re of reverb, reverb as this one does. So you got Now, unfortunately, putting reverb on something makes it quieter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take and go into effects, not colors. We're going to do amplify. So, we apply that onto this reverb effect. And what I usually do is I just leave it linked. So, I'm going to increase it to about there. We're going to take a listen now. Get a difference? It's a lot punchier now with the reverb and the amplification especially. Together, they create... And that... I will remind you, is the original Halo 3 Magnum sound file, and I made it sound like this. Pretty amazing, if you if you ask me. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. It's a de definitely a lot punchier, has a lot more oomph to it, you know. Now, if we want to, we can do this same experiment and apply it to other sounds. So, I could just go and back and do assembly. I could take the battle rifle sound. Okay. Okay. 
That's a good amount of echo. Yeah. Pretty decent on its own. Now let's make it have the full burst sound effect. To do that, we have to take the separate files. Okay. See, that's a little too fast. So what we want to do is separate that out another frame. getting much closer now. Let's see if we can separate them each by one frame more. I think that sounds about right. Yeah, I should probably just be clipping that. So just... Okay. So, we have that. What we're going to do now is make it a lot punchier, like I said before. So, reverb. Always do your reverb first. That's kind of the important part. So... Dry needs to come down, wet needs to come up. I think I'll put it there for that. This one here. I'm just leaving the room size at 80 for each of them. Hold on. Let me see what this one says. Oh, that's at 40. Okay. Try and keep them at the same values, you know, so they have the same sort of consistency. We'll put it on this last one. Okay. So now we have that nice little reverb effect. Now let's put an amplify effect. So, I'm gonna put it up about here. See how that sounds. That's a lot heavier sounding, isn't it? Very good. I like that. I like that a lot. However, I think the audio is a bit too high. Probably put that down of just a bit. There we go. Go back here. There, it's much more tolerable. Now, if we wanted to, we could make it sound just a bit punchier by kicking it up to near 20 for each of them. However, you don't want to go too high, otherwise it'll just get completely uh, distorted. So yeah, there you have it. Quick, uh, I guess, audio editing tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, look forward to actually putting this into practice in a little project I've been cooking up. Which, you know, that's what I've been doing, you know. I started with the Magnum, and uh, that's kind of why I started with that here. But uh, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.